you're not crazy enough, like Leon, do your own research, Dior, and stick to the news. Uh, stick to if you want to follow some in, uh, crypto influencers, that's okay. But still, Dior, uh, just invest in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. The question is, how do you do your own research, right? Right. The question is that. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. Like, yeah like what do you research? Yeah. So so I think if in my in my in my view if if that like, you know that the scam. I just got to I just got to say all this on behalf of the community, right? Like we got to really drill this hard to all the NFT culture participants now. Like if you're live now, listen to this, okay? If if you don't know how to take away today, just take away this thing, okay? <laughs> if the founders of the gaming company are not even committed themselves to their own success or their own game, just don't invest a single cent, full stop, period, end of story. So the scam that I was talking about, okay, or rather not scam, but the dodgy guy, right? Haven't reached the scammy stage yet. The dodgy guy that I was saying, right? And Derek can attest to, the founder himself, right, you know, say all these big dreams, going to change the world, probably become bigger than Facebook's meta overnight kind of thing, right? And then when I ask how much investment he has, he's like, I just managed to raise like $2,000. And he invested like, you know, it's like he invested $6,000 of his own money. And it's like, wow, you know, the world's biggest investment that he has made. You know, like, and then the total funds that the company has probably is like 18000 or something. And he claims that with the 18000 he wants to change the world. Yeah, so you get what I mean? Like, I myself, I'm, I'm not even a founder of a gaming company, right? Yeah, hey. I'm founder of AI company, but anyway, so I'm not a founder of a gaming company, but I myself invested more than, if I can put in more money than him into his own game, I think something is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like, really do your own, the question is, how do you do your own research, right? Do your own research by finding out how much, the, how vested the founder is, right? Whether he's putting his reputation on the line or so. Yeah, is oh. it like whether he's going out there trying to, like, raise capital or, like, build the product itself, yeah. But is it okay though if we play like play to earn games with teams that are not docs? Do you prefer docs docs teams or or is anonymous teams okay too? What what do you mean doc teams? Docs um docs I mean people uh they and know docs? who is the person. Oh like they know who like the person docs? is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know man. I I I I am still a bit old school I guess, so I prefer somebody, someone that has some reputation. Like if you ask me to invest in like some random company that I've never heard before, no profile, no track record, no nothing, I'll be quite skeptical, honestly. Yeah, I'll be quite, I'll be quite skeptical. Yeah, because no matter what, you know, uh, on behalf of the NFT culture community, right, we have to, we have to help them, right? We we gotta teach them, right? We gotta make sure yeah. we share the right things with them. Like, some risk is just not worth taking, right? You know, some people, some people have this this very weird mentality that you know, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward. You know, like if so, if if the guy is totally anonymous, you know, like you don't know who this guy is, like the better the reward is. <laughs> There's a better like reward. Some, so sadistic. Then I can then some random kid down the street can just create some shit coin and then sell it to you. You put a million bucks and then what? It's gonna become ten million tomorrow. I don't know. Yeah. So it's not not necessarily true, right? It's more of really understanding how to do your own research that is important. Yeah, not just following blind following a formula like higher risk, higher return. I can give you something very high risk with zero returns, my friend. <laughs>